Hi folks and welcome to the Salty Seaman. Today we've got to talk about a couple of items in the news, uh, military related. First of all, yet another phony seal busted. This guy, the balls. I mean, just the pure balls on this guy. This day and age, 2017, uh, age of internet, YouTube, Facebook, the Don Shipley's of the world, the 8 million Stolen Valor uh, compilations, you know, everyone's out there looking for a phony these days. This guy goes on Fox News and tells everybody he was a SEAL when he was not promoting his political agenda. So, boo, shame on you, actual Navy vet, Vietnam Navy vet. And what was his rank? I swear to God. You know, usually where I was a cook or an aviation mechanic. Lots of aviation mechanics seem to do this. I don't know why. But, uh, seems to be a lot of them, so they'll know the Navy. I said in my original Stolen Valor video that er that seems to be my most popular thing, I believe I said it's a bunch of fucking ABH2s. If I'm too lazy to go back and find the, the clip, I'll insert, I will, it'll be inserted here, unless I'm too lazy. But, yes! What's with a blue brown shoes? Why do you want to constantly, you know, I mean, of course it's not all of you, but why is it your job field, especially ABHs, it's always an AB, it's always an aviation boss's mate. I keep hearing about uh, faking being a phony seal. What's wrong with being an ABH? I, I don't get it. But uh, good news on the front, you know, uh, it's sad that it has to go all the way. This guy's probably been telling his friends for years. And I'm sure a lot of them think he's full of shit because these guys tend to, the longer they talk, the more some people start to realize none of their shit makes sense. But uh, yeah, this guy didn't really get out until he got put on national news. So, but at least chalk up one for the uh, for the good guys, I guess. Um, item two, uh, executive order just signed. Uh, it looks like what I'm saying is a, the wording in this media has been not specific enough, which annoys me. So I've been kind of waiting for a Military Times article on it. Maybe it's out. I haven't seen it yet. I don't know. But uh, it's basically saying the wording is pilots who serve their time in the military, uh, retired, can be called back to active service. Um, okay, two thoughts on this. One, uh, you know, are they differentiating between fleet reserve and actual retired? That'd be my big question. Because uh, I don't think the, the, the civilian world really doesn't know how military retirement works. And there's two phases of it. And one is a reserve time, which you are on recall for. So if they're just talking about fleet reserve or whatever the Army and Air Force call it, uh, an executive order, I would imagine, gives it the right to call them back. Which, I'm a member of the fleet reserve myself. I could be recalled under that. We know what we're getting for. Uh, to recall a re full retired, we're talking guys in their late 50s at earliest and most of them will be in their 60s most of them who are not going to pass a uh, re-entry uh what do you call it? a re-entry uh, physical uh you know their eyes have probably gone bad they're all you know their pilots supposed to have 20 20 vision a lot of them are gonna have bad eyesight by then uh anyone who right now for what i also heard like it's it's a volunteer thing and not a force them back in but uh other people saying the language is mercury it could apply to IRR and uh, Fleet Reserve, everybody, and if people pa or people after IRR. Someone told me I don't know how that would work without a lawsuit. Uh, <laughs> pretty sure this, pretty sure that one could be fought in the Supreme Court uh, if you're under no contract to the military and you've served your time. You can't really be redrafted, but uh, that would be an interesting thing. I don't think that's the case. I think this is talking about Fleet Reserve, and I think it's being. Of worded pretty badly in the press. The press doesn't understand military retirement. But we will see. I could be dead wrong. I've been wrong before. So, anyways, I think that's about it. Just want to give a little news update, let you know I'm still alive. College is hard. Got a lot of work going on. But, uh, <clears throat> couple more. I have another video topic I'll probably be putting out the next couple days that I really wanted to focus on. And, of course, another military movie bullshit. Uh, coming up down the pike, hopefully by the end of next week. And that's it. I'll catch you freaks on the flip side. Peace.